Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to create one of these very popular kinetic typography animations in After Effects. So this is a very simple setup how we can create this effect with only one line of text. So let's jump right into After Effects and let's get started. In After Effects, first of all, I want to create a new composition. And in my case, I will just use a standard HDTV composition, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So let's create this and let's create this, or let's call it my main composition. I will make it five seconds long. Now we need a second composition and let's create a new composition. And this will be my title composition. So let's type in title. And now we have to do a little bit of math. So depending on which resolution you're working, this works for any resolution. You can make it vertical, you can make it square, it really doesn't matter. It's just important that you get the following math right. So depending on how many lines your screen should have or how many lines of text uh, should be animated on the screen, you now want to divide the height of your composition. So let me show you how I mean that. In this case, my height is 1080 pixels and I want to have actually nine lines of text on my screen animating. So what I do simply is I go in here, then I divide this value by nine. And this will result in a value of, as you can see here, 120. So this composition is now 120 pixels high. And this is exactly what I need. Now let's create a new text layer and type in the title. So let's say, Kinetic typography. Kinetic typography. Now let's line this up here a little bit. And let's maybe just increase the tracking here so that it more or less fills my screen. Make it a bit easy here, like that. Kinetic typography, make sure that it is centered, like so. Now let's just duplicate this and put in the second title. After Effects tutorial, yeah. So now we can just reduce the tracking a little bit and again make sure that it is centered. Now I have my two texts that I want to animate. So first of all, I want to see my kinetic typography title, so I will just care about this layer for now. And let's see, we want to do the animation around two seconds, so let's go to the position here and set a keyframe. Let's move forward 10 frames and then I go to my X position and I will simply subtract the width of my composition. And the width of my composition is 1920. So depending on what resolution you're working, just subtract the width of your composition. So let's go in here, type minus 1920, click away and now you see my animation or my title has animated out of the screen and I have this kind of an animation. Great. Now I will do exactly the opposite with my second title. So let's go in here and let's reveal this position. And you see now they are overlapping, but of course we don't want that. So what I will do is I will add the width of my composition. So we'll type in plus 1920. And now you see this shifted over and is now right here. Set a keyframe, move forward 10 frames, and then just set it back or again just subtract the 1920 and then it is perfectly aligned in the middle again. Now I have this animation. So far so good. Now we could make this a little bit more interesting so let's go into our graph here and you see what we've got here so now I can select all this point and maybe create something like that. That could work. Let's do the same here. Just create an ease to make this animation a little bit smoother. Okay, now let's go to our main composition and let's import our title. So far, so good. I could now duplicate this and, you know, start shifting around, but this is not the way how we want to do that. We want to make this in a clever way. So what we are going to do, we will use an effect and this is called CC Repertype. Let me quickly invite you to visit my website. On my website, I have a lot of After Effects templates and After Effects projects. And of course, I also have a lot of free After Effects tutorials. So if you want to check out all the content that is there, then please visit 
www.graphicinmotion.com and you can find all my stuff in there. Thank you very much for your support and now let's continue with the tutorial. So let's just go to CC Repetile and apply it. And now I can go expand up or expand down, first of all. Let's make sure that we have enough here so everything is visible. At around 520, this should be fine. And let's do the same here. Up, so expand up 520. And you see now my full composition is filled with this text. Now, this is already a little bit cool, but not really. What I want to do now is I want to offset this animation line by line. So how can I do that? And here is the trick. So let's first of all create a new solid and call this our ramp. Now on this solid I will add in a gradient ramp that goes from black to white, standard ramp. Now I want to add in an effect that is called posterize. So let's add the posterize effect. And you immediately see what this does. Now, we just specify the number of lines, and as you remember, we wanted to have nine lines, so I will just type in nine. And this should now line up perfectly with my typography titles here, which it doesn't. This is already very good. So now, we actually don't need this uh, ramp. We don't need to see it, so let's make it invisible. And now we will create a new layer, and this will be an adjustment layer. And this will be our time displays. So let's call it time displays and let's add the time displacement effect. Here you have it, time displacement. So this time displacement effect is asking for a displacement layer and this will be our ramp. Now we can say we want to take a look at the effects and add the masks. And now you immediately see what this will do. Now this will offset our animation and it will look at our ramp and depending on the values from white or from black to white, it will offset the animation. So this is pretty cool. And now I can just make this displacement time a little bit smaller, maybe something like 0.2. I actually have to use a comma here. So comma 2, 0 comma 2. And now if you take a look, this looks a little bit more interesting. Of course, you can come in here now and maybe optimize this animation a little bit or make it maybe a little bit longer something like that and if we go back now to our main composition you see that we get a little bit more of a smooth result if you like this tutorial then please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have any other ideas about tutorials then please post them in the comments i thank you very much for watching and i really hope to see you soon goodbye